The Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supreme. A $3.49 abomination of Mexican food, infamous for its assault on the bowels. Well, Josh, you're still here in the kitchen. I haven't left in months. <laughs> we like it that way. Yeah. So we're gonna up the ante on every part of this. Every single part of it. So it all starts with the tortilla. Ooh. For the flour tortilla, we have an ancient grain. I made it myself. The blue corn tortilla is from a producer called Macienda. They make everything organic, shipped in from Mexico. All right, and then for the veggies, we got some living butter lettuce. Uh, and then we have uh, heirloom tomatoes. Also, I hot sauce every single bite, so we're gonna make our own flame juice. We're gonna do 10 different dried chilies in it. These little small guys right here, if you can see them, they're actually about 260 bucks a pound imported from Mexico. We're gonna make a creme fraiche infused with huila coche. What is huila coche? So the literal translation is corn smut. Can we call you corn smut? Yeah, if you'd like to, I guess. So this cheek in this tail is actually from the same cow. I went to Standings Butchery, single best butcher in LA. He only gets one animal at a time. We're actually gonna beer braise it in this uh, Belgian style lambic. It's a uh, wild yeasted. I too am wild yeasted. Yes, you are. My single favorite part is the nacho cheese. So we're using Velveeta because we want all that just creaminess. A cheddar cave aged from a tiny farm in Wales. And that bone marrow is actually from the forearm of the same cow that our cheek and tail is coming from. And then we are going to light that bone marrow on fire with this Classe Azul Mezcal. Does it have pepper in it? No, it's not a it's not a pepper grinder. Okay, let's make an even more supreme crunch wrap. You touch the cheeks, I'll touch the tail. That's good, that's kosher that way. And then you're gonna douse uh, it in all of that. I can't talk and shake at the same time. I think you've so shaken all of it. Once I started shaking, I'm... Caught in a shake loop, it happens. You just grab the forearm. Wait, okay. Massage it in there, yeah. There we go. Oh. Red, if you wanna open this beer. Oh! It oh, might flame, gosh. it might not. Look at that, we're making clouds, man. This is gonna go in the oven. Here we got some uh, roasted marrow bones. Shove a spoon in there and give it a good Jimmy. My dad's name is Jimmy, so I'm not comfortable doing it. My ex stepdad's name is Jimmy. Do we have anyone in the room whose ex stepdad or dad is not named Jimmy? Ooh, that noise. Uh, we want to kind of melt it down because we want it to blend in with the nacho cheese. So the marrow is gonna start to melt. Pour some mezcal right there and then pull the bottle away pretty quickly. Somebody get a freaking extinguisher. Did I do good? You did great, man. It went really high. Gently spoon it into the nacho cheese. So what we're gonna do now is make our lime and Mexican oh, truffle creme fraiche. No, please put that down. Right, do you, you hold by the not sharp. One, two, three. Down the lime. Almost got my finger. One, two, three, four, yeah, five, yeah, six, you seven. Probably, you should probably stop now. Jimmy. Can Jimmy better with my right hand? Okay, I'm definitely leaving. Give me one of these. Oh yeah. man. Taco Bell for me is like completely useless without hot saucing every single bite. Um, that's distracting. So we're gonna create our own hot sauce. Yeah. Um, the habanero, pasilla de Oaxaca. Okay. That was beautiful. Wow. Oh yeah. Flame juice, not affiliated with any Mexican chain restaurant. Let us assemble. What you're gonna do is you take the tortilla and you're gonna put it on this hot griddle. Maybe kind of rotate it. Chewy, chewy, chewy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dollop right there. Next we're gonna go with the nacho cheese. Drizzle it over the top. And then you're gonna take the beautiful heirloom corn tostada, shove that on top. There we go. Just a little bit of lettuce and then some uh, tomatoes to finish. And then you just fold, fold it over. brace, you would have fold, totally brace, screwed that. pinch. Fold. So you're like an origami master. Face down. And, you, and then you give it a good little it? smash. Yeah, not too much, not too much, whoa, not too much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you're sorry, I freaked out on you. You wanna give it a flip? There we go. Oh, oh my goodness. Man. Look at that. that. <laughs> we have crunched it, wrapped it, and supremed it. Now, for comparison's sake. There is not a dramatic difference, mm -mm. but it's what's on the inside that counts. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. It looks crunchy, savory. Almost sexy. Right. Now Josh, how much would this run a person? So this, with all the mezcal, all the fancy beefs, this is $254.79. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do this every weekend. Yeah. Flame juice. Triple dink it. Triple sink it. That flame juice has a bite. Oh gosh. Then you start getting the queso. Ooh, that beef is magical. And it's so Taco Belly. If this doesn't work out, you can get a job at Taco Bell. <laughs> Are you firing me? Yeah, the jury's still out. 
how you get to the other fish? Because I finished my first <laughs> strategy. Leave a comment below with what fast food item you want us to fancify next. And click through to see if we can figure out what K-pop band BTS is singing about. This sunrise sweatshirt is as pretty as a sunrise on a sweatshirt. I don't get metaphors. Available at mythical.store.